It's not coming streaming. Go to the InDesign application, friends. InDesign. Take a new document. Create a new document. And already explained here the width and heights, the inches, and pages. How many pages you have to take it? Just take the pages and click it. Create. If the this is the margins where we created from the our document. See, if you take a preview document, you can see the margins here directly, and you can increase the margins. Zero point two. You can decrease the margins of the document. Okay. And already we explained previously the user interface, and mainly we have to use the mainly we have to use this properties panel. Properties panel is very important, and swatches palette is very very important. Okay, this is the toolbox where we have taken, and already have given some shortcuts here. Take text tool, and here I have given the F12 for pages palette, Control N to create a new document, and to create a new page, what should I do? What is the pages palette shortcut? F12. F12 is the pages palette shortcut, and To add the page, if you want to write, write it. F12 is the pages palette shortcut. And if you want to create a new page, here this we call as a page, or this we call as a spread. Control Shift P to create the new pages. Why it is coming left and right pages? Two pages it is showing. Ikkada, ikkada jum. Control. Shift P to create the new pages and Control Alt P page settings to edit the document properties. Control Alt P page settings to edit the document properties. We know already it is Control plus zoom in and Control minus zoom out the document. But sir, why it is coming two pages here? One is left page and second one is right page. Why the two pages are coming? That is called verso and recto. If you open any book or any, uh, if you if you, you what you written the book. And what you take in the textbooks or any magazines, you can see two pages that we call as a facing pages. That we call as facing page. First one page is the cover page. First one page is the cover page. Okay. And when you come to the last page, will be the ending page. First page and last page. Okay. And in the in between the pages, we call as facing pages. Okay. And this one is also a facing page. When you close the book. When you open the book like this, you can see the cover page and ending page. Okay, and these pages we call as spread. I can right click, I can delete the spread. Select it and right click. I can delete the spread. These are the pages we can delete it and we can add the pages. Come to here. These are the pages, sir. I don't want to. I don't want this facing pages, sir. I would like to remove the facing pages, and I would like to take a, a single single pages. Then what should I do? Go to the Control Alt P, Control Alt P. That is called facing pages. Just remove the facing pages and click it. Okay. 
Control Alt P is main important to edit the document properties. Fine. We know already what we have taken in this first page. Okay, take the first page and go to the first rectangle tool. Take a rectangle tool. And we have two things here. One is fill and second one is stroke. Select it here and fill the color and click it here and apply the stroke. Which one is active right now? The stroke is active. Again, I have to act with the fill means go to the X. Swapping the color. Okay, swapping the fill and stroke. Okay, suppose I just taken the stroke and I have to increase the properties of the stroke. Stroke increasing. Come to the properties and increase the properties of the stroke. Take a duplicate and the duplicate shortcut will be the Alt drag is nothing but to duplicate the objects. Alt drag already we see in the Photoshop and Illustrator. Okay, but Alt drag we have taken the duplicate shortcut but select it. Sir, it is X is nothing but what happening there. It is just swapping. But come to here, I would like to stroke to uh, the color should be filled to the stroke and st uh, the fill color should be come to the stroke. We have to reverse the colors, uh, reverse the color to stroke, fill to stroke and stroke to fill. That is called shift X. Stroke stroke on a color ki fill out on the fill on a color stroke out on the that is called shift X. Please, if you want to write it, please write it down. Okay. Now, okay. And we have a shortcut. I'm just taking one object here, the circle. Good. And I can fill the color. Good. And what happened here? If you want to apply a gradient for this, there is a shortcut for dot. There is a shortcut that is called dot symbol in the keyboard. And comma is the fill. And slash is no fill. Comma is the fill. Dot is the gradient. And slash is no fill. If you take the comma and you can fill the color. If you want write it, just write it down. Comma for fill the color. Dot for fill the gradient. Slash for remove the fill and stroke. Okay, now, so this is good and I'm just checking with comma for fill, dot for gradient, slash for no fill in the keyboard. Okay, this is the shortcuts here. Okay, sir, this is good and I'm just applying the stroke and applying the stroke properties and I apply the gradient from dot and we have a, click it here, we have so many gradients or otherwise just come to the gradient palette here, just double click, this is the gradient swatch double click and just double click the color palette here and double click the color what we have taken and select this one and go to the double click on the fill docker window and apply the color i can click it here and again double click and go to the like this it is a linear and radial if you want to reverse the colors you can reverse the colors the same gradient should be applied into this box there is a gradient there is a gradient and stroke the same property should be applied to this box what should i do take a eyedropper select the box select the rectangular box and take the eyedropper and click on the gradient where we have to pick the color click it then automatically what the properties we have and what the gradient we have it should be applied completely the, the same attributes will be applied to this object to this object okay this is called eyedropper for picking the color from one object to another object okay 
Now this is good. Sir, is there properties? Suppose there is no properties palette. How should I apply the stroke? How can I apply the stroke? Come to the control shift F10 for the control control F10. Sorry, control F10 for the stroke properties. Control F10. Sorry, one second. Only F10. Sorry, F10 for the stroke stroke palette. F10 for the stroke palette. Apply the stroke palette. And I can apply the stroke here. And if you select this one, we have so many properties on the stroke here. This is called boot cap, round cap, and projecting cap. Just click it here and increase the meter limit. Then automatically the rounded corners will be some smooth. Join, curvy, round, roundness, align stroke. See the rounded camfort boxes. And if you want to apply a dashed lines, you can apply the dashed lines, thin lines, and dashed lines, Japanese dots, and triple dots like this. And you can apply the rounded caps. And this is the lines we can use. Suppose if you take a line tool here, click it and draw the line tool and apply the stroke properties. And you can apply the styles of the things. This is the stroke palette, friends. Please uh, pr try to work on stroke palette. Okay, sir. So we we are using only the more tool that is called a selection tool. We can take the selections and we can move it like this. Now, this is the direct selection tool. What we do with direct selection tool? We can adjust the handles like proper the path pointers. This is the pointer. We can select the pointer, we can edit the pointers like this and I can select the pointer very perfectly and I can move the pointers very, it's a very adjustable pro pointers, okay. But is there any bizarre pointer? No. See, is there any bizarres? No, there is no bizarres. If you want to get the bizarres, where, can, where, where we have to go? Come to here, take the convert point tool, convert direct point tool select it and you can get the the bizarre of the pointers if it is a straight pointer if you want to get the handles of the pointer okay then we have to go to the path pointers here convert point tool and you can get the smoothness on the pointers the bizarre of the pointers okay now direct selection tool is very important to adjusting the pointers good and this is the page tool what the page we selected this is the page selection tool see the page has been selected see selected or not page selection tool this is the gap tool how much gap you have here how much gap click it and how much gap you have you can adjust the gap pointers like this this is the gap pointer tools like this we can adjust the gap pointers and this is the content collectors tools we can see in the next level okay the content placers how can we place the contents and uh, the tools we can see and come to the text tool already we know the text tool but if you click it like this it is applying now why it's not applying take a facing pages here Control alt p the document setup i'm taking facing pages if you click it here the text is applying is it applying no the in in design we have to create there is only one thing that is called the text box tool we have to drag the text box okay and double click hello good morning good afternoon and good evening press enter like this you can get the down of the layer to select the text shortcut you can select like this the text 
and control A to select all the text. Select all the text. Select all the text area. And to increasing and decreasing the font size. To increasing the decreasing the font size, what is the shortcut? This is the shortcut to increasing and decreasing the font size that is called one second. Take the file, select it, One second. <clears throat> One second. Let me change the mouse. Select it. Take the InDesign application.